If you just bought your kid an Oculus Quest 1 or 2, you just handed them a private web browser with no content filter and absolutely no parental controls. What could go wrong? My name is Garrett and I love VR. And I want you or whoever you bought the Oculus Quest for to love VR as well. And quite frankly, the Oculus Quest is currently the best and most affordable method for getting into VR. Unfortunately, the Oculus Quest doesn't currently have any built-in web filter or parental controls by default. And for someone who studied cybersecurity in college, that's a little concerning. So I created this tutorial to show you the best available methods for blocking and filtering explicit content on the Oculus Quest. Here's how the tutorial is going to work. I've identified three big areas where you or your loved ones are most at risk to seeing not safe for work content on your Oculus Quest, and I've found ways to be able to filter that. So this entire tutorial is going to be going through each of those areas and showing you exactly how to implement settings and filters so that you don't have to run into that content while using the Oculus Quest. Let's jump into it. First and most important is the Oculus Web Browser. Every Oculus Quest has a fully functional web browser that cannot be disabled and has no content filtering by default. If you don't see why a private web browser would be a bad idea for your child or teenager, I suggest you either go watch Welcome to the Internet by Bo Burnham or The Science of Pornography Addiction by ASAP Science. But if those videos don't convince you, just trust me when I say you really want to put a content filter on your child's web browser. To implement this filter, you're going to have to jump into the headset and change a couple settings. And if you've never jumped into a VR headset before, I recommend you do Oculus's first steps. It's a tutorial that will get you familiar with the way that VR works. And once you've done that, do the following. Once you jump inside the headset, you're going to be met with some sort of virtual environment like what I'm looking at here or it'll be some sort of room. It doesn't really matter. What you're gonna wanna do is on your right controller, you're gonna wanna hit that little button that has the Oculus logo on it. That will pull the Oculus menu. And once you're in the menu, down on this little bar down here, you're gonna wanna click on this apps tab and go into browser. This will pull up the Oculus browser and we're gonna change some settings in here to make it safe. So first and foremost, we're gonna go over to these little triple dots, click on those and go into settings. Once we're inside of settings, we're going to want to make sure that our default search engine is set to Google. Select it as your default search engine. It should save automatically and then just exit out of that tab by clicking the little X. It should be left back to something like this and then click on Google. And once you get here, up in the top right hand corner, be sure to sign in to your Google account. And that's like any other Google sign in. You fill in your information and whatnot, but sign into your account and then come back here and literally search for anything. So once you search for anything, you're gonna to wanna to come over here to this little settings button, and we're gonna go into the search settings. Now, once inside of search settings, make sure you have safe search checked on. Uh, the reason is, is safe search is Google's default content filter that'll filter out stuff like pornography. So if you have that checked on, it will filter out a lot of pornographic sites and stuff. And so anyone that uses this headset won't be able to access things like that. Now, this is not a perfect filter. There's obviously a million other ways where people can kit to, you know, explicit content and whatnot. But this is literally the best way that I could find to keep bad things from your Oculus web browser. So make sure that's turned on and make sure you go down to the very bottom of the page and hit save. Once it's saved, it should say that your preferences have been saved. You hit OK and it'll go back to your search tab. Again, no web content filter is perfect. And what I just showed you to do on the Oculus Quest probably isn't enough. So here are a couple of other things you can do to prevent your child from seeing explicit content on their web browser. If you have a Wi-Fi router that was set up using an application on your phone, more than likely the router has some sort of content filtering method built right into it. For example, on my Google Nest router, I have this awesome setting that when toggled on blocks all adult websites and as much explicit content as Google could possibly think of. But if your Wi-Fi doesn't have a setting like this, you can always call your internet service provider and ask them about the content filtering options that they have available and get those set up and put in place. Let's talk about Facebook. If you didn't know, to use an Oculus Quest, you are required to sign in with a Facebook account. And yes, it is possible to see explicit content on Facebook. The settings and recommendations that I am about to suggest will help prevent your child from seeing explicit content on Facebook. 
However, these recommendations are more to prevent your child from being preyed upon by people who use platforms like Facebook to find vulnerable children. So, like I said, to use the Oculus Quest, you have to sign in with a Facebook account. This means that either you or your child will have to create a Facebook account and sign in to use your Oculus Quest, and don't make a fake Facebook account or else your Oculus Quest may be disabled and you will lose all of your purchases with no chance of getting a refund or getting them back. My personal recommendation for you parents who are watching this would be to have your children use your personal Facebook account when setting up their Oculus Quest and make sure the following settings are implemented. But if you do decide to let your kid make their own Facebook profile, I highly recommend that you follow them because that way you can keep tabs on the content that they're liking and posting and keep tabs on them that way. Either way, please make sure that you or your child's Facebook account has the following settings implemented. Either on the Facebook mobile app or on desktop, navigate to the privacy settings tab and make sure as many things as possible are either set to only me or disabled. The most important section to make sure everything is set to only me is the how people find and contact you section. You should definitely spend a bit of time looking through these various settings and getting to know what they are, but generally speaking, if it can be disabled, disable it. Now in the Oculus Quest app, go to the settings by clicking on top left hand corner and go into privacy settings. Once you're in privacy settings, make sure that activity is set to only me, your friends list is set to only me, your Facebook name is set to only me, and activity status push notifications is set to only me. Obviously you can change that however you want, but these are the safest and most private settings on the Oculus Quest. There are a lot of great games available through the Oculus Quest store and indie stores like App Lab and SideQuest. And luckily, the three major sources for Oculus Quest games all have a very strict no adult content policy. But even with those strict policies, there are still games and apps that allow people to share explicit content in game. So in order to keep your child or loved one safe, be sure that when you set up the headset, you install the Oculus app on your mobile device and enable the purchase pin so that all purchases require that pin. Not only will this save you money, but it'll also allow you to know all the apps and games that are being installed on the headset. If you don't currently have the pin set up or you didn't set up the headset using your cell phone, don't worry, just download the Oculus app and have your child or whoever set up the headset sign in to whichever Facebook account they use to set up the device, then connect to the headset and go into settings and set up the pin. If you have any questions about a specific app and whether or not it's safe for your child, feel free to leave the app's name down in the comments below and I will respond and tell you my opinion on whether or not it's safe. Again, no content filter is perfect, and even in the safest of VR apps, your child could still be exposed to the vulgarity or inappropriate actions of others. And that is why one of the best things you can do to keep your child safe in VR is to jump in and play with them. It's the best and safest method for you to know exactly what your child or loved one is experiencing in virtual reality, and with the infinite amount of content that is available, it could possibly turn into a really great bonding experience for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you think that Oculus should implement more of these features, I've left a link down in the description below to a petition to have Oculus implement more of these features. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like. That way the YouTube algorithm will push it out to more people who need it. And if you had any trouble or issued getting any of these settings set up, please hit me up down in the comments below and I will do my best to help in any way that I can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around.